Would it surprise you to hear that tens of thousands of Londoners are on a waiting list to find somewhere to store their bikes? The number's increasing significantly in the last six months, with people having to get creative to find spaces in and around their homes. One campaign group says more communal spaces are needed, especially with the focus on sustainable transport. Alice Solfield has the story. An all too familiar experience for many cyclists in London. The daily commute down the stairs. Difficult, messy and tiring. Catty uses her bike to get to work. Okay, I can't store it um, downstairs on the street because it's quite dangerous. We have a local community group and they all report a lot that it's like uh, a lot of bikes are been stolen. So, oops. Sometimes I'm even lazy to take my bike downstairs and then upstairs so I ride it on cycle, which is, I think is bad because I love cycling. Londoners have become pretty creative when it comes to the places they store their bikes. From the balcony to the wardrobe and even the bathroom. Photos posted on social media using the hashtag ThisIsAwkward are hoping to peddle the message that it shouldn't be this difficult for cyclists. So why don't they just use one of these? They're on-street lockable bike hangers. You can store six bikes in each and you apply to the council to get a space in one. Now, the price differs massively from borough to borough, but here in Islington, it'll cost you £107 a year to store your bike. But it's getting hold of a space that's the problem. There are more than 60,000 people currently on waiting lists. That's nearly three times as many people waiting as there are spaces provided across London. And in some areas, it can cost almost four times more to store a bike than for a car parking permit. This is a rare sighting, right? I mean, look at this street. You see any other bike hangers around here? What our campaign's asking for is many more of these. Clean Cities campaign wants local councils to clear the backlog of people waiting and make prices fairer. There are figures that around at least half of Londoners are you know, put off cycling because they can't find anywhere secure to park their bike. There's 400 bike thefts a week in London. You know, you can imagine if you're putting some money into a bike, a few hundred quid, and then you've got nowhere to keep it. Cycling campaigner Ailey agrees. Many councils have uh, declared a climate emergency and we need lots and lots of different actions to work together in order to deliver the changes that we need to see to combat the climate emergency. And cycle hangers, for me, is a big enabler of getting more people on their bikes and out of their cars. Councils say more storage is coming, but for now, Catty will have to keep contending with this. Alice Solfield, BBC London.